It is estimated that around 90% of the world's population favors their right hand for tasks requiring manual dexterity. But what lies behind this overwhelming majority? Let's explore the captivating reasons together, in this video. To understand this phenomenon, we need to look back in time to the evolution of our species. Anthropological studies reveal that our earliest ancestors, Homo habilis and Homo erectus, lived around 1.9 million years ago. By examining their skeletal remains, researchers have discovered an interesting clue, the right arm bones of these primates were more robust than their left arm bones. This suggests a significant preference for right-handedness even in our ancient human relatives. So, what could have caused this early preference? One theory suggests that it was due to the development of language. As our ancestors became more capable of communication, they utilized gestures and hand signals, enhancing social interactions within their groups. A consistent preference for a hand, usually the right, allowed for standardized communication, leading to a more cohesive and efficient society. Archaeological finds from ancient civilizations, like the Egyptians and Mesopotamians, provide further evidence for this theory. Inscriptions and hieroglyphics show a strong right-hand bias in their writing systems, indicating that right-handedness might have been culturally ingrained. Now, let us delve into the biological aspect of this phenomenon. Research has identified that hand preference is linked to brain lateralization, the division of tasks between the brain's two hemispheres. Interestingly, the left hemisphere of our brain controls the right side of our body, while the right hemisphere governs the left side. This means that most right-handers have a dominant left hemisphere, which is associated with language and analytical thinking. The reason behind this brain asymmetry lies in genetics. Studies examining twins have shown that genes significantly influence hand preference. However, it's not as simple as just one gene. Multiple genetic variations likely contribute to this complex trait, making it challenging to pinpoint a single cause. Additionally, environmental factors play a role in determining hand preference. During our childhood, we observe and imitate those around us. Thus, if a child is surrounded by right-handed individuals, they are more likely to develop right-handedness themselves due to environmental influence. Even though right-handedness has dominated throughout history and across cultures, it is essential to note that left-handed individuals make up around 10% of the population. They have often faced challenges due to a world designed for right-handers. But despite these obstacles, left-handed individuals have contributed significantly to society, showing us that hand dominance does not define our abilities or potential. In conclusion, the predominance of right-handedness among humans has its roots in a fascinating combination of genetic, biological, and cultural factors. It seems that the development of language and the functional specialization of our brain hemispheres played a crucial role in shaping our dominant hand preference. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into why humans became mostly right-handed. Remember, diversity in hand preference and abilities is what makes our world vibrant and unique. If you found this video captivating, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. As always, stay curious, keep exploring, and never stop learning.